Previously on MasterChef, you have to cook a restaurant quality barbecue plate. Get your proteins on. Let's go. I'm making a red snapper wrapped in banana leaves. I hope it pays off. I'm doing a surf and turf mexicana. Can you execute is the question. We're about to find out. You played the grill like a piano. Congratulations, Wayne. Yes. Feels amazing to know I'm in the top eight. Even though the immunity pin is no longer in play, we'll still receive a game-changing advantage. Sadly, the snapper is really overcooked. The home cook leaving MasterChef is MD. Love you, MD. Tonight, the top eight face their biggest challenge yet, the wall. Not fun. You will cook on opposite sides of this wall, but you must create dishes that taste and look identical. Tonight is a double elimination. Wayne, you get to pick the team. Oh, hell. Can you hear me? Yeah. Say that again. Jennifer. You think she understood? Oh, my God. I don't know if I like this sauce. What? Did you put it in already? No, what? Ah! Everything that could have gone wrong, did. We're in big trouble. Ah, it's gonna be okay. That tells the whole story right there. The team leaving the competition is. Woo wee! One of my favorites. Ah, it's a big one. This one. Volume is going up tonight. Yeah. The wall. Oh, the wall. The wall. The wall. <laughs> Not the wall. Like, come on. Anything but the wall. Can you hear me, Reagan? <laughs> this is probably one of the scariest challenges on MasterChef because it's more than just about cooking. We're yelling across the wall. So many other people are yelling. This is a chaotic challenge. All right. Lord. Welcome back, everyone. Top eight. Feeling good? Yeah. Good. Tonight, you're going to face a Master Chef staple. It's eight feet tall, 55 feet long, and it's the biggest obstacle in your way in this whole competition, the wall. So tonight, you will cook in pairs on opposite sides of this wall. You must create dishes that taste and look identical. And here's the kicker, both cooks from the worst performing team will be going home. Wow. All right. Tonight is a double elimination. Wow. Now, this is a very daunting challenge tonight. Jennifer, when you see that wall, how does that make you feel? I'm deaf in one ear, and oh. so this is the challenge I've not been looking forward to. However, mom of six, I'm used to chaos, so I'm just going to zone in and do my absolute best today. Good. Wayne, nothing really intimidates you, does it? No, Chef, that's not true. This definitely does. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Well, Wayne, that big win across the grilling challenge has won you a huge advantage tonight. You get to pick the teams. Ooh. Oh, okay. hell. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's always great to have power when it comes to these challenges. My strategy going into the picks is, A, to make sure that I'm paired with the person that I feel I can communicate best with, and B, mismatch some of the other contestants to hopefully give them a little bit harder of a time. OK, Wayne, who do you think should be paired with Kennedy? Kennedy is definitely one of the stronger cooks here. So I'm going to pair her with somebody who I think is kind of like floated through the middle. I'm going to pair Kennedy with Sav. It's all right, babe. We got it. OK. Wow. Kennedy, Sav, please place your orange aprons on. Kennedy, how are you feeling? I feel good. I think I kind of have an advantage with her accent. She doesn't sound like anybody else here, so I think it, it'll, <laughs> it'll definitely be clear who's talking to me. Good. OK, uh, Wayne, who are we pairing with Bryn? I'm going to pair Bryn with somebody who I think has different cooking styles from what I've seen. So I'm going to pair Bryn with Colby. Wow. OK, so you are the blue team. Give us an insight to who you're pairing with, Jennifer. Jennifer definitely has a more classically trained style of cooking. And so I'm going to pair Jennifer with someone who is a little bit more rustic in their approach and hopefully make a big dent in this uh, southern thing that's going on here. So I'm pairing Jennifer with Reagan today. All right. Wow. And who speaks Jennifer better than Reagan? Uh -huh. Jennifer and Reagan, the green team, combining two assets from the South. He's going to see. 
we're going to be just fine. <laughs> OK, Wayne, that means you're going to be paired with Grant. Yeah. Uh, Why did you pick Grant? He's a good communicator, and I'm confident we're going to work well together. Good. Grant, how are you feeling? Uh, being from the Midwest, we're here to prove the Midwest is best. We might put a dent in the Midwest, too. We'll see. Please join Grant and put on your red aprons. Red's a lucky colour. Right, all of you, you'll have one hour to cook us restaurant-quality dishes. Separated by that humongous wall, of course. Now, before you start cooking, you will get five minutes together in the pantry so you can strategize and gather your ingredients. It will be your only chance to talk face to face because it will be your only time in that pantry. <sighs> okay. So think smart. Grab as much as you need. And if I was you, I'd grab a few extras. Now, remember, your dishes should look and taste the exact same. Got it? Yes, yeah. Sir. Your 60 minutes start now. Off you go. Okay. All right, all right, all right. All right, what are we doing? All right, Grant, I'm thinking we're Midwest. Let's do something we can't mess Absolutely. up. Absolutely. Filet. Yep. Uh, uh, Bernays. You can do Bernays. Okay. I was thinking like a braised fennel to really amp up the plate without okay. having to go I'm outside. I'm not familiar of it. with fennel, but. If you walk me through it, I, yeah. let's like talk to me. Have you a veggie before? Yeah. And then we're going to need color, like a red wine and fruit demi-gloss. I like red wine. Cool. <laughs> I'm with it. We're going to do parsley puree with wilted greens pancetta with pan-seared scallops. OK. A circle, three on top and a Got diamond, it. and then lemon dill sauce. OK. And then the sauce should be on the side. Sounds um, good to be able me. to pour it. I'm thinking scallops. OK. Simple. OK, and I'm then, thinking scallops. Yep. What about cheese grits? Uh, um, I, I, girl. Oh, yeah. We have synergy. We need a crunch, so okay. I was thinking like maybe asparagus to go underneath. Okay. And then you just done my job. Oh, so much. Okay. All right. And then Sauce. what about Beurre Blanc? Jennifer and I are on the same page. We knew exactly what we wanted to do in the first 30 seconds. Pantry closes in three minutes, guys. Three minutes. Let's go. Come on. Stop. We need chicken stock. Okay. Okay. I got the same. Let's go. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. I'm gonna go for the Bernays. Stick together, guys. 60 seconds to go. Wait, we need lemons. Lemons are over here. Go grab the asparagus. Cut off the top, cut it in half. Wedges, like you're cutting an apple. OK. Find us some cayenne. Cayenne, cayenne. Go. Five, Five, four, four three, two, two. Let's go, let's Wayne. Go, let's, go, let's, go, let's, let's go, let's go, let's go. The pantry is closed. We got this, Kennedy. We got it. Woo. All right, unload your basket, Jennifer. OK. Grant, you unloaded? Start talking, I can hear you. OK. Big night tonight. The big 55-foot wall. The stakes don't get any higher tonight. We go from eight to the final six. It's a real pivotal point in the competition. OK, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to clarify the butter, do a full cup. OK. So what do you think about Wayne's picks tonight? Kennedy and Sav. Hey, Kennedy, how many parsnips are you peeling? I'm pe peeling three. OK. All right, we're going to get started on the greens after this, OK? All right. I think he's put Kennedy in a good spot because Kennedy's going to be vocal. Sav is clearly going to work under the umbrella of Kennedy's tutorial. And so I think this combination could work really well tonight. I think it's a, a misfire from Wayne. OK, we're going to get garlic chopped, shallots chopped. OK, I'm starting to chop up my garlic and salad. Got you, babe. I think Colby is going to play sushi after this. I think it's going to be a conceptualized dish that's sort of spearheaded by Bryn, similar to what Sav's doing to Kennedy. Colby and Bryn, they're the only team tonight that has never, ever worked together. Wow. My salad is minced. Is yours? Say that again. My salad is minced. Is yours? OK, almost. Reagan and Jennifer are good friends. They're both from the South, and they've cooked together. So they have all of the ingredients to be a good team. Similar flavor profiles as well. Exactly. I don't know if Wayne has made the right decision there. Did you chop up the butter or just put them in whole, Wayne? Just put them in whole. OK. And then Wayne's selection of grants. All right, so I think we should probably get the filet out and salt it. What do you think? Um, sure, yeah, let's salt the filet. Let's do that. I'm amazed he went down that route. Yeah, I mean, you look at Wayne and Grant as alpha males, and they're going to conflict. That would be a major shock tonight if Wayne takes himself and Grant out of the top six of this competition. Because, of course, there's no immunity pin to save them tonight. All right, my steak is resting. We're going to get to work on the liquid for the Bernays. OK. Oh, We didn't get eggs. No, there's no eggs. You can't make a Bernays without eggs. That's the main component in the sauce. I don't have a sauce for the steak. Let's take a peek real quick. Let's see what we got. I hope we can figure something out with what we have, because we can't go back to that pantry. We're in big trouble.
more garlic. Oh, we didn't get eggs. No. I don't have a sauce for the steak. We're in big trouble. You got any ideas? I have a bunch of big portobello caps. Okay. We can do a white wine portobello sauce. Toss me one of them right now so I can see. Coming. Oh, got it. Okay. Okay. All right, guys, what's the most important skill sets for the wall challenge? Communication, number one. You have to be assertive, you have to have conviction, and yep. you have to take the lead at times. You're gonna get those pears cut, and you're gonna start sauteing them. Okay. Use the biggest skill pan you can, because we're gonna get brown the pound cheddar first. In olive oil or butter? Olive oil. And then, of course, it's about understanding the dish. They have to taste the same, so you have to be able to communicate flavor with words, which is not easy to do. Jennifer, one pinch of salt, one pinch of pepper. Yes. Say that again. One pinch of salt and one pinch of pepper. Got it. And they got to work in sync. If you're going to sear the salmon, sear it together. Make the puree, make the puree together. They also have to be able to pivot and evolve. Absolutely. Are you on your potatoes still? I'm still on the potatoes. All right, take your time. And sadly, two cooks get eliminated. The worst performing team does not make it into the top six. 20 minutes gone, just under 40 minutes to go. Let's go. Kennedy, what's the dish? Where we go with this? Um, so I'm going to do scallops, parsley puree with pancetta greens, and then a lemon dill sauce on top. So is it like a beurre blanc or just a lemon butter sauce? Oh, uh, it's a beurre blanc, yeah. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. So make sure that doesn't break. Yeah. What's the jeopardy behind this dish? Overcooking the scallop is, is really easy to do. We just have to be on point on every good. single thing. And has Sav cooked many scallops? Yes, we talked about it before, and we both felt very comfortable with scallops as uh, being our protein. Right. Whose idea was this, this, this dish? This was my idea. Um, I feel confident being a leader, so I'm, I'm ready for it. Good. Good luck. Thank you. All right, those pears, we're going to toss some raspberries in there. OK. We just want to get those raspberries soft. All right, Wayne, so talk to us about the dish. The dish is going to be a Midwest classic steakhouse dish. We're going to do a filet mignon, buffalo carrots. We've got a palm puree, which I need to turn down right now. We had planned on a different sauce altogether, but we got some of the wrong ingredients. We didn't get them all, so we're pivoting. Well, what was the original sauce? It was a Bernays, and we didn't get eggs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, that's that, that's yeah. a problem. Yeah. yeah. So wait, what's the sauce? The sauce is going to be a white wine mushroom reduction. But why not red wine? We're working with what we've got here. You say white wine mushroom reduction. There's so many variables in that with yeah. the mushroom because depending on how many of the fins you leave on, the cream sauce yeah. can yeah. go black, brown, white. Yes, 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 yes. Grant, did you take the uh, gills off the mushrooms or did you leave them? I, I have the gills on. It's going to make the sauce dark. I think that I think it'll look good. I, All right, I, we'll offset it with some heavy cream to lighten yes. it up, yeah? If, if we can, I think there'll be a beautiful mushroom cream sauce okay, around great. here. Absolutely. All right, good luck. Uh, right, uh, Britain Halfway, how are we feeling? I'm doing OK. Tell me about the dish. What are we doing? We are making a crispy skinned salmon with a parsnip puree, braised fennel, and a deep red wine, raspberry, and pear sauce. I wanted to do like a gas streak with something bright and fruity, okay, and then um, he really wanted to do salmon, so we're working right. that in. I've never seen a red wine and raspberry and pear sauce with a salmon. You conceptualize the dish, so it's pretty much on your shoulders, okay? So just don't throw ideas onto a plate that don't yeah. work. Make sure you taste everything, yes. okay? Thank you. Yes, yeah. good luck. Is your butter fully melted? Yeah. Next, you're going to add in the white wine. The white wine, how much? A half a cup. I got it. Good. All right, Reagan, what's hey the dish? What's going on? We are making scallops over cheese grits, carrot puree, and barbalong. This sounds like more of a Reagan dish than a Jennifer dish. It is. We're both from the South, sir. Who is leading on the aesthetic, on the plating? Oh, definitely Jennifer. So you're listening to what oh, she's yeah, telling yeah, you. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Every step of the every way, every detail. If, if Joe and I were cooking on the separate sides of the wall, who do you think would lead, me or Joe? You. <laughs> I do not lead. He's, I, I, he's a I'm smart okay guy. with that. I'm okay with that. All right, good luck. I have all of my fruit in the blender. Okay, I'm putting my fruit in the blender now. I'm gonna start adding my greens to my pancetta. Okay, and then I'm gonna add uh, the rest of the shallots to the butter sauce. All right. So Kennedy and Sav, first of all, their dish sounds delicious. Uh, pan seared scallops on this pasta puree. They got this lovely little sauté spinach with an amazing caramelized pancetta. Oh, I like that idea. Make sure you're seasoning as you go, Sav. And Sav is so happy just to tuck under Kennedy's wing. My big worry is when those scallops come in, because when Kennedy's scallops go in the pan, Sav's have to go in the exact same time. That is crucial tonight. Reagan, I'm grabbing a blender, OK, for the carrots. OK. Can you hear me? Yup, I got it. All right, so Jennifer and Reagan, they're going to do scallops, grits, a beurre blanc, and then there's also going to be this beautiful carrot puree with asparagus. Can I start adding my butter to my sauce? 
Uh, yes, I just started. You have the two probably most opposite plating styles between Jennifer and Reagan. Reagan is going to imitate Jennifer's plating style. Let's see if she can do it. We got to get the steak started. Yes, sir. Grapeseed? Grapeseed, 100%. Got it. Are we going in right now? Right now. Beautiful sizzle over here. Yep. So Wayne and Grant start off real confident, right? Two boys from the Midwest, they go, OK, filet, Bernays sauce. What happens? No eggs. Oh, so, so they can't make a Bernays. Well, I want to cook the mushrooms before so they don't impart too much color to the sauce. All right. They invented a mushroom white wine reduction. Everything that could have gone wrong in the pantry for Grant and Wayne did. You have no eggs for Bernays. Strike one. No red wine for pan reduction. Strike two. They've got one strike left, and they're out. Wow. Let's do the salmon real quick. Yep, I have about two teaspoons oil in the pan. And make sure you press down the top. Oh, did you put it in already? Yeah. Oh, you didn't tell me. All right, give me a second. Wow, look at Colby and Bryn. They failed to start cooking their salmon together. I'm about to flip mine now. You did one minute on the flush side down, right? One minute on both sides. Got you. Colby wanted salmon, but the whole concept of the dish was driven by Bryn. They got this pear and raspberry red wine reduction. Never even heard of it. Forget about duplicating it from two people who are not seeing each other make it. Sounds really risky. Grab a strainer. OK. And we're going to press the fruit mixture through. I'm straining it now. Great. I'm just flipping my fish. Because the dishes not only have to be identical, they have to be delicious. I'm straining my fruit. It's like nice and thick, right? Yeah. Our communication was great in the beginning, but now we're starting to kind of break down a little bit. Bryn, do we like this sauce? Well, I think there's going to be a lot of good brightness from this raspberry and pear. OK, cool. I'm really worried about the sauce. This is something that's supposed to bring the dish together. And if this sauce isn't right, then we could possibly go home today. Five minutes gone, 15 minutes to go. All right, my fillets, it's got color on all sides. Yep, me too. All right, we're going to put it on our cutting board, let it rest. All right, my steak's out. So now we're going to take a tablespoon of a time of the wine. OK. And you're going to strain that as well, because you don't want all that shallot and garlic in here. So just put it right through the strainer, too? Yep. The barbalock sauce is looking a little pink. What am I doing wrong? You need to add more butter if it's looking pink. It should be yellow. Right now. It's not looking great to me. This sauce, ain't nothing good about it. It's not working. I do not have time babysitting no doggone sauce. I got things to do. Look, Deborah Block is done. It broke. We're not using the sauce, OK? Yes, don't use the sauce. You've got to taste the grits, taste the carrot, OK? Make sure it's seasoned well. Tell me what you're adding, OK? It tastes like carrots. It actually tastes pretty good. Just over 10 minutes to go, guys. 10 minutes to go. All right, Kennedy, it's a What's critical that? moment. You're going to sear the scallops? Yep. How hot is your pan? Do you see that it's, like, really hot? Yeah, it's hot. OK, let's put our scallops on. Ah! Well, that's hot. Go, go, go. Okay. Cool. Yeah, that's good. You're putting four in first, right? Yeah. OK. You just have salt on them right now? Yes. Are you going to flip them at the same exact time? Is yes, that the idea? absolutely, yes. What do your scallops look like right now? My tits are brown. Mine are done. I'm flipping. OK, ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Are yours golden brown and sexy? <laughs> yeah, they're sexy. So they look good. Do you have a plating strategy? Yeah, we do. You think she understood it? Yeah, 100%. Good. All right. I'm taking them off, Kennedy. All right. They're off. Come on, baby. We need to get this pan sauce going. OK. Let's go shallots in first, and then we're going to deglaze. Shallots in. I think Wayne and I are doing a great job communicating. It's getting loud in there, but we're able to keep our voices up. Take these carrots, put the burner on high. Our goal throughout this is to be just talking to each other. We don't throw anything in a pan without saying, hey, this is what I'm doing right now. Give me two tablespoons of the sauce on the carrots now. Two tablespoons. Roll it around, cover it real good. If you're not doing things at the same time, you're gonna get really lost. Let's add a quarter cup of cream to it. Great idea, great idea. Love it, love it. Oh, we got seven minutes, we got seven minutes. All right, babe. Um, Taste it. It needs something. OK, hold on. Give me a second. The sauce is put together, finally, so we can taste it in its final form. Ah. Is it working for you? It tastes OK. I wanted to say it's great, though. That's the problem. We just aren't happy with the raspberry and pear sauce, but it's time to plate. I, I trust you. Let's do it. All right, let's get this going, and we'll just start plating. OK, OK. Now it's five minutes, guys. Five minutes to go. All right, I'm good on this cream sauce, Wayne. Cream sauce is good. I think it's good. 
We need a plate, baby. We need a plate. It's four minutes. I'm worried about Reagan and Jennifer. Oh, no. What's happening? So the sauce is the bird belongs broken. And then the scallops, they're not even out yet. So I'm really worried about them. Listen to me, Jennifer. Yes, I'm listening. We need a plate. OK. Let's get a plate. It's right here. Well, give me just a second. I'm doing a deli container size puree. Perfect circle in the middle. Yep. Let's go a streak around the left side from 11 to 7 o'clock. OK. We got two minutes. OK, now grab four pieces of fennel. Are they crossing over? Yeah, like standing up like they're crisscross. OK. OK, Reagan. Yes. Let's put those grits down. What? The grits. Yes. Where are we putting the dill? Fresh dill in the center. How many sprigs? Three or four? Where are you putting the cream sauce, Wayne? What do you think? Uh, 3 o'clock to 6 o'clock, right around the steak. 3 to 6? Yes. Let's do the dots of this gas streak around the outer circle, OK? OK. 60 seconds Let's to go. go guys. Last Come minute, on. guys. Come on. Remember, identical plates. What are we doing with the asparagus? To the right of the plate, do a large round of the grits to the, make sure you've tasted and they're salted enough. Wait, I thought we were putting it in the middle of the plate. No, Jennifer. We're gonna put the mushrooms right on top of the sauce and put the curved end towards the curved end of the plate. With the plate, got it. Are we putting the microgreens in the middle? Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I am taking a towel and dragging it around the outside so they all have a flat line, okay? Oh, on all of them? On all of them. Okay, I'm doing five dollops of carrots. 15 seconds to go. Let's go. Let's go. Work six. with two hands. Come on, Reagan. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And That's stop. it. Hands in the air. Oh, my God. That's the hardest thing we've done. <laughs> I don't think I did it right. It's OK. Don't worry. Mine looks like messy, too. Good job, hon. Good job, baby. I'm proud. Mine looks really good. Did yours? Mine looks good. I'm worried. I'm happy with what we did, but we didn't give ourselves enough time to talk about plating. I am worried that our dishes are not going to look like. I mean, I know our plates don't look the same. <laughs> like, period. I am feeling frustrated, because this is not how I want to go out. I'm just praying. Right, uh, very carefully, close your dishes and step down to the front in your pairs, please. Good. Good job. Good job. I hope. <laughs> How would I talked enough? <laughs> yeah, we tried. Well done, all of you. Now you understand the word communication. Tonight, your challenge was to collaborate with your teammate to perfect and replicate your dish. Joe, Aron, and myself are hoping each team's plates are identical. OK, uh, Wayne, you had the pick of the litter tonight. You chose Grant. Make your way forward, please. I put the team together. I've got the responsibility for this decision working out. But I'm confident because we communicated so well. I'm just hoping my dish tastes and looks the same as Grant's. Wayne, how are you feeling? I feel pretty good. We started off with a blip right from the get-go. Mm -hmm. The idea was to go with the Bernays because we could not go back to the pantry. We had to pivot and work with what we had. Right, uh, shall we? Yes, let's do it. Mm. Very curious. How many carrots did you put on the plate? Three carrots on the plate. Three. What's the temperature of your steak? Mid-rare. Medium-rare. You sound confident. Shall we? Yes, chef. Wow. It looks like you guys were cooking side by side. Right, explain the dish, please. So we have a pan-seared filet with a palm puree, buffalo carrots, and a white wine sauce with mushrooms. Now, the consistency is pretty impressive, I have to say. If I had to pick one that's better than the other, I don't know which one I'd pick. But the cook and the steak is really going to be where the rubber hits the road. Absolutely. OK. Wayne. Oh, yeah. Nice. Pretty spot on medium rare. Mm -hmm. Good job. Grant? My hope is it looks exactly like Wayne's. All right, let's see. 
Nope, it's there. Mm -hmm. Right, both filet mignons cooked beautifully. Um, really spot on. Thank you. I mean, it doesn't feel that there was a wall separating you two because they're identical. Uh, mashed potatoes, delicious, really creamy. Um, Wayne, yours is a touch lumpy, a little bit grainy in there. Uh, not a big fan of the cream sauce, it just doesn't make sense, but those carrots are delicious. A really smart move, I think, with two Midwesterners going for steak and potatoes, elevated, because it's definitely Russian quality, so it's a really good effort. Thank you, Chef. Thank you, Chef. I just love the fluffiness of the potatoes. Yes, albeit maybe a little grainy here, but for me, that sauce, it's a nice respite from the richness of the steak and the potatoes. And I love the consistency with the plating. You guys were in tune, and that's a big part of the wall challenge. Thank you, Chef. Thank you. The uh, duplicity of these dishes is top notch. You had a clear vision. You know, for me, it's just a perfect Bernays sauce would have been a grand slam. Yeah. You should be very pleased. Well done. Thank, Thank you, Chef. chef. I'm feeling ecstatic. I don't think there's any chance that we go home today. We nailed this. Awesome. All right, Jennifer and Reagan, please carefully bring up your dishes. I thought the tag team challenge was hard. This wall challenge was one of the hardest things I've ever done in my life. So hard to communicate. I'm so worried that our plates aren't going to match up. Thank you, ladies. Now, who kind of guided the ship? You know, communication was an issue for us. We were doing a lot of yelling, but we did the best that we could. Let's see. Shall we? How many scallops are underneath there? Three. How many spears of asparagus are under here? Four. Four. How many dollops of carrot puree under here? Three Eight. to five. <laughs> I have two. No, serious. It's not a giggle. Two of you are going home tonight. How many dollops of carrot puree under here? I only have two. I have three. dollops of carrot puree under here. I only have two. I have three. Give us some insight on the dish. This is seared scallops with cheese grits, roasted asparagus, and a carrot puree. There's something odd about this presentation because there's consistencies in the imperfection. You kind of have the, this carrot puree kind of jumbled about in the same way, and I don't know whether to applaud you for that or take it a task. What I will say is the sear on the scallops is exceptional. Thank you. However, I'm slightly concerned, Jennifer, about the temperature of your scallops inside. They look undercooked. Shall we? Take a look. Mm -hmm. So we'll pick one here. So, Reagan's scallop, perfect. Beautiful. Thank you. Jennifer's. As you can see, he's undercooked. Yes, I can see that. What a shame. So, uh, Jennifer, um, grits are delicious, really creamy and well-seasoned. Uh, sadly, the scallops are undercooked. Puree doesn't taste of anything because it's not even seasoned. Reagan, uh, your scallops are cooked beautifully. Carrot puree is bland. There's no seasoning there whatsoever. I thought you were going to nail those grits, but they're not anywhere near as tasty as they should be. Jennifer, I love your grits. I agree there's salt issues on both your dishes. Mm -hmm. Reagan, you can see that, Jennifer. Grits are glistening and they're mm -hmm. creamy. Yours look dry, but I have to say that your cook on the scallops are delicious, right? Thank you so much. I feel like uh, Reagan, your dish is a little bit more flavorful overall. Jennifer, I feel like your dish is a little bit more timid, even though perhaps some of the technique and presentation may be better. I appreciate that. Thank you, Beth. Right, next up, Orange Dean, Kennedy and Sav, make your way forward very carefully, please. Thank you. Honestly, I feel like when they pull those colches, Sav and I are going to have the exact same dish. We talked to each other through the entire plating process. So this is the most confident, honestly, I felt after a challenge in a long time. OK, Kennedy and Sav, how many scallops have you got each? Three. Three. And the sauce? It's in a ramekin. In a tall, white ramekin. Mm -hmm. 
are we both confident they're going to look the same? Yes, Chef. Shall we? Yes, Chef. That looks the same. Oh, baby. Good job, baby. <laughs> These dishes are very, very, very similar. <laughs> The biggest difference is, Kennedy, your sauce is broken. Sav, your sauce looks creamy and delicious. Thank you. Sav, what's the dish, please? We have seared scallops, parsnip puree, wilted spinach with some crispy pancetta, and a lemon dill beer blanc. Uh, Sav and Kennedy, the dishes look identical. Uh, well done. Incredible sear on the scallops. Beauty done. Smart amount of puree on both plates, the colors, the spinach. Shall we? So we'll check the scallops. Okay, let's take a look at Sav's. These scallops are both pretty close to perfect. I would say Kennedy's scallop might be a little bit more spot on. Shall we? Sav, um, scallops cooked beautifully. Uh, really nice seasoning on there. I don't get the heavy beurre blanc with the puree. It doesn't really need okay. it. It's counterintuitive. Kennedy scallops now beautifully. Puree, delicious. Sauce sadly broken, but aside from that, really good job. Yes, yeah, I mean, for me, I think the cooking your scallops are delicious. And then Kennedy, they're sweet, they're supple. They're just spot on, and that's what you want. I think the idea of pancetta and spinach coming together is a smart move because it stands up to the meatiness of the scallop. So I appreciate that on both your dishes. Thank you. These two dishes, they could have come out of the same restaurant. Kennedy's dish was cooked by a saucier, broke a butter sauce that I would put on popcorn. Sav's dish could have been cooked by the chef de partie who doesn't work by the hour. <laughs> wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Maybe. <laughs> okay, Colby and Bryn, will you please bring your dishes up? I'm really worried that I'm letting Bryn down with this one because I just feel like my plating is a mess and I'm not sure if the salmon was cooked properly. I just hope that the dishes at least look similar. So, Colby, how long did you cook your salmon for? Um, I cooked it for one minute each side and then I let it sit on low for about 10 minutes. Bryn, how long did you cook your salmon for? The exact same, but I was about 30 seconds behind him when we started. You sat in the pan for 10 minutes? Mm -hmm. Yeah, to on low. And how many pieces of fennel have you got? I have four. Four, two on each side. Right, let's see. It's gonna be okay. No, it's not. These dishes look very different. Mm -hmm. Please tell me what you made. We have a crispy skin salmon with a parsnip puree braised fennel and a raspberry pear wine reduction sauce. So, Bryn, uh, first off, uh, salmon beautifully seared on top, that skin nice and crispy. The braised fennel looks juicy, delicious. Smart pairing with that, but the sauce on the outside yeah. just looks bizarre. Fair. These sauces, both of them, don't even look like a sauce. They look like pureed baby food. OK. Colby, um, I'm going to deal with the obvious issue, is that salmon does not look cooked. Let's see. Colby, um, I'm going to deal with the obvious issue, is that salmon does not look cooked. Let's see. It's under. Yeah, this is way under. I mean, this never saw even heat in the center. Let's take a look at Prince. Beautiful. Bryn salmon is perfect. Glistening, moist, pink, just how we want salmon to be. Bryn, your salmon's cooked beautifully. Absolutely to perfection. Skin, crispy, delicious. Problem is, that's where I want to stop. 
the sauce doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. And you have to be careful with that parsnip puree, because once you've added too much cream, it just tastes of a cream puree as opposed to parsnip. Colby, oh God, salmon hasn't even had the temperature inside. No seasoning in the puree. And the sauce, again, it does not make sense. Yeah, Brent, I think the, the cook, as Chef Gordon said, is exceptional on your salmon. But I wish you guys would have been bolder with a little spice rub on the salmon or something. Kobe, I'm somebody that loves salmon a little under, but this is egregious. Bryn's dish is a successfully cooked salmon with a crispy skin, properly cut fennel, braised and seasoned the right way. And as we can see here on Colby's dish, this is a series of errors. It's under seasoned, the salmon is not cooked. Everything that you see is wrong with the dish is actually wrong on your palate as well. Thank you. I am confused as to how the salmon is undercooked. If anything, I thought I was like 30 seconds to a minute behind Colby on the cook, so I am not sure what happened. All of you well done. That was a very tough challenge. Please, excuse us. Wayne and Grant, the cook on the fillet was exceptional, right? Yep. Yeah. They had an idea of a, of a Bernays and they shifted. The dish with a Bernays would have been top oh, Yeah, top notch without a doubt, but a big standout. Kennedy and Sam. They cooked scallops beautifully, you know? Yeah, I'm, that was I, a nice dish. I'm impressed more with Sav, the fact that she produced a better dish than She Kennedy. produced a better yes. dish than Kennedy. Jennifer and Reagan. They had a lot of issues, I think it's, it's safe to say. Jennifer's scallops were undercooked. Show us grace in this moment. Move on our behalf. Amen. Amen. Bryn and Colby, I mean, let's deal with Colby salmon. I mean, it was raw in the middle, wasn't it? Colby's dish was kind of a disaster. Bryn's dish, minus the berry sauce, was actually quite good. Yeah. You never know with the wall. Someone's got to go home tonight. If I'm going to go out with anybody, it's going to be my dog, Jim. Please make your way around to the front. Thank you. Now, after talking at length, we feel that two teams really did turn in strong performances. Kennedy and Sav, congratulations. <laughs> and the best pairing of the night was Wayne and Grant. Well done, both of you. Congratulations to all four of you. You're now in the top six. Make your way up to the balcony, please. Hey, Chef. Thank you, Chef. I feel incredible. It never gets old being at the top in the MasterChef kitchen. The advantage of me being able to pick my partner worked out really, really well. Being in the top six, I'm feeling great. I'm one step closer to that trophy. OK. Bryn, Colby, Reagan, Jennifer. We felt that your dishes did not rise to the standard of tonight's challenge. The team of two that will be leaving the competition is Bryn and Colby. Oh. Oh. Reagan, Jennifer, please say goodbye and make your way up to the balcony. Wow. My dear friend. It's so good. It's okay. I love you. You're so special, and I'm so sorry. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Brian and Colby. Sadly, too many mistakes from start to finish tonight. It just did not hit those marks to get into the top six. Oh, this is hard. Brin, the last surviving cook from the Northeast. This tenacious, feisty chef that wows every time. That's how I'm going to remember you. Promise me you're going to keep your head up high and continue this dream. Yeah, I started only cooking a couple years ago, so being here is unbelievable. I have every reason to keep going. Colby, this competition confirmed you're born to cook. Let's get that absolutely clear. You cook with your heart, and that flavor profile is unique. <sighs> We love you. I've never felt like I belonged anywhere until I got here. Um, so it's kind of tough, I'm not gonna lie. 
Um, Young man, this is just the beginning. There is something exciting behind those doors. Thank you, Chef. Come and say goodbye, you two. Oh, my Ooh. doors, honestly. Man. Come here, man. Oh, let's see you again. Thank you so much, Chef. This has been a really crazy journey. I mean, how many people can say that their grandpa got to taste the food that got them an apron in MasterChef Kitchen? This is damn good. <laughs> I get to go home with that memory always. Yes. I always loved cooking, but I found my happiness in the MasterChef Kitchen. Woo! I found my passion that I never knew that I had. Wow. Colby, I think one of your best performances so far in this competition. Yeah. It's hard to leave the competition and it's hard to leave these people who really made me feel like I belong somewhere. But I'm definitely ready to put all this passion that I found into my cooking dreams. I'm so proud of you, man. I'm sad, but I'm so proud of myself. We love y'all. You're gonna kill it, all of you. I came in here, I was a bartender, pretty new to cooking. But I knew that I had the passion and the drive to show myself that I could do it all. It's flawless, it's really delicious. And now to have made it this far. Amazing. Thank seriously. you. Means that I have what it takes. Damn, I didn't think I'd be doing this. <laughs> I feel so ready to see where this takes me in the restaurant industry. Damn. <laughs> Love y'all. Love you. Next time, it's the restaurant takeover. Hell's freaking kitchen. It's a crossover, baby. Tonight, you're going to be feeding every guest inside my restaurant. I'm putting my reputation in your hands. I'm petrified. In order, one scallop, three risotto. Three scallop, three risotto. Three filet, one salmon. Six minutes, sir. No, 90 seconds. <laughs> Come on. Ah, oh, damn it. Are you OK? No. No, no. I wouldn't serve that to my bulldog. This is insane. These are done. Raw. You're going to lose these people. Where's the risotto gone? We don't need it. Hey, 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 hey! Don't ever disrespect me or my restaurant. One potato, two potato.